samu saduwa da junan su su zauna su nuna damuwar su da irin abin da ya faru da bai dace da yanda yana yake tafiya ba sai su roki ubangijin mu Allah ubangijin Allah ya kawo zaman lafiya ina gan wannan manufa shine wanda Musawa da kuma kabiru da ban da ban da aka hadu nan ba zan kome ba ne saboda wani abu da ke faruwa a can garin mu bako da yake iyayen mu ne yan wayen mu ne dukan su ya zama na wuri da ke kan kowa a madadin su na musulunci da musulmai ba ci daya wannan ya sa sarakar su ta zauna a yau suna neman mu fara da addu'a ubangiji mu Allah ya kawo mana kunce hankali garin bako ba ma wurin ba ke dai duka gurare da aka san tashi hankali duka muna roƙon Allah ubangiji Allah ya kawo zaman lafiya wannan zama za a zauna shi da bismillah ubangiji Allah ya sa mu tashi da alhamdulillah kuma wannan zama da za a yi ubangiji Allah ya sa wannan zama ta kawo ya wanda za a ce gwamman da aka yi wannan zama ubangiji Allah mu ke roka sarakar su ta wurare da ban da ban da ban su ka zo ubangiji Allah ya saka musu da alkhairi yanda Allah ya kiyaye su suka kai alkara da lafiya yau da safi na muka zauna an aka gama za su koma kuma Allah ke su gida lafiya ubangiji Allah ya ci kamar nufin mu baki daya Allahumma rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina azaban nar subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun alal mursalin wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin all protocols observed ladies and gentlemen of the press thank you for honoring our invitation we hope the content of our statement will prove worthy of the generous time you have accorded us it is appropriate that we begin by first expressing our condolences to the entire Ghana police service through the inspector general of Uh, General of Police, Dr. George Akufudampare, and the family of the young policewoman, Constable Regina Angelou, who was shot in Boku while on a visit. Sadly, craving of innocent lives is the new nature and scope of the current conflict between the Kusasis and the Mampusis in Boku. Secondly, We also wish to convey our deep condolences to the families of the late Mr. Tijani Abdurrahman, who was killed at Baswa Amros Market on 3rd January 2022. The late Mr. Audu Karim, aka Audu Welder, who until his death was the second vice chairman of the Moshi Development Association, Udiye Day in Bokoto. He was also killed while attending a funeral at Mokuzonga. And recently, the cold-blooded killing of Mr. Seb Al-Hassan Bagia, a.k.a. Babse, and late Mr. Taiban Kundima on 23 January 2022. They were also gunned down while going about their legitimate business around the wild fuel station in the Boku Township. Several others also met the untimely death in that shooting incident, including a Fulani businesswoman, with many others still in critical condition at various hospitals. Let us continue to remember the dead in our prayers, and pray as well for the Indian persons to recover speedily. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the Moshi community has been deeply concerned about the renewed clashes between the Kusasis and the Mampusis in Bokuto. Even more worrying is the calculated attempt by some unknown person manifesting conflict entrepreneurial characteristics to draw the Moshi community into the Kusasi Mampusi clashes by targeting and killing our brothers and relations in cold blood fashion. Therefore, If the January 23, 2022 unprovoked shooting of innocent law-abiding persons of Moshi ethnic extraction is a signal of what we fear it is, that is, 
the advent of a new kind of conflict of the periphery against the center. Then the lives of many innocent Boku Township residents are all in grave danger. And this press conference today acquires an even greater agency in view of the times our people in Boku live in now. At least up until now, the Moshi community have lived in harmony with all other ethnic groups in Boku. Thanks largely to our time honored values of uprightness, honesty, respect for the rituals of communal living and its etiquette, especially for the other, and peaceful coexistence. Currently, however, the Moshi community within the Boku Township is living in fear and panic. They are justifiably apprehensive in view of the inability of the hard-working security agencies thus far to hunt down and bring to justice the perpetrators of these callous and cowardly attacks to serve as deterrent. The Moshi community cannot continue to suffer casualties when we are not a party to the conflict. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, we would like to use your medium to highly commend the security agencies for their efforts in maintaining peace and order in spite of the towering obstacles. Their laudable professionalism notwithstanding, the Moshi community holds the humble view that these wanton targeted attacks on innocent persons from the Boku Township has prevailed for long. And until the battle against such emboldened criminal elements is fought and won, they will continue to assail innocent people with impunity. Their behavior is inconsistent with modern era ethics of conflict, and if not nipped in the bag, might undermine the cooperation and mutual respect needed between the security agencies and the ordinary people in Boku in order to successfully fight the looming threat of terrorism infiltration into Ghana through our borders. Importantly, ladies and gentlemen of the press, we appeal to the Kusasis and Mambusis to put Ghana first by embracing dialogue and peaceful coexistence as a viable option going forward. In this era of enlightenment, it becomes unproductive to continue to use armed combat in resolving our differences, however necessary and noble we deem it. Armed combat can only produce one result, the waste of our precious human resource, the youth. To this effect, we implore the youth to denounce conflict mongering and concentrate on building their capacity for the future. As youth, we should make our lives count by filling the hours we have with what is conscientious, honorable, and worthy. In that light, we commend the Boku concerned Mosi youth for their call for lasting solution to the Kusasi Mampusi conflict. We also, through this medium, appeal to the Moshi community in general, despite the provocations, pains, and at ease that these irresponsible attacks may have caused them, to remain calm and refrain from pronouncements or actions that may inadvertently help promote the cause of those who are only too happy to make us a party to the conflict. Furthermore, the Moshi community is an organized ethnic group with respect for hierarchy. Therefore, we advise anybody interested in speaking on our behalf to first seek clearance from the executives of the Moshi Development Association, Udiele, in Boku, especially if it pertains to the conflict. Finally, ladies and gentlemen of the press, clearly the ad hoc measures of curfews, banning of smoke wearing, and riding of motorcycles have not yielded the needed results. Because these conflict entrepreneurs continue to create a false sense of insecurity within the Boku Township through these constant unwarranted attacks. Suffice it to say that these measures rather affect the majority of law-abiding persons who want to go about their legitimate business offending for their families in spite of their already suffocating economic environment. Therefore, we appeal to the Interior Minister, 
the Regional Security Committee and the Municipal Security Committee to adopt a more collaborative approach in finding a lasting solution to the conflict. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen of the press, in view of the volatile nature of the Boku conflict, we would like to passionately entreat the media to be circumspect in their reportage. We urge you to let the enduring cardinal values of your chosen vocation, that is conscience and truth, guide you always. This call notwithstanding, the Moshi community is palpably surprised at the loud silence of the Ghanaian media on the atrocities and the apparent lack of urgency in dealing with the Boku situation by the powers that be. Does the killing of women in cold blood not worry our conscience? Where are the women and children civil society organizations in Ghana? Why are they mute over the use of child soldiers in the Boku conflict? Or is it that we do not matter? Well, this is why we think the Kusasi Mampusi conflict in Boku must concern all we well meaning Ghanaians. The Moshu community hold the humble opinion that the growing insecurity in Boku is a threat.
we sit down, we resolve, not through arms, but through dialogue. And things will be okay for us. Please, let's peace prevail in the country that Thank you very much. I'll speak, I'll just speak. I mean, that we are she did. Dogi <laughs> Ama shi kuna kashe kun yi kashe juna yazo kun ji dadi kashe kuna fita kuna kashe wanda kuma ba ku sasa ba 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 mabuza ba wato kashe kashe da ya mu dadi wanda kuke kashe ku su ma suka tashi suka ce za su yi ramon gayya ya za ka ne ya ka alheri ce za ku yi hakuri ku sasi ne ko ku shi ne ba mo she ne ba da gombe ne na numba ne ko wale ne buruka yan kuma juna ne fa ko ku manta ba kashe kashe juna zai bari wai sabani da ke sakani mu gyara shi ba sai sa ai hakuri abin da ya ke faruwa daga boko ya 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 faru ko ina ba mu nema haka gane ne gari mu ba mu da wani gari fa gane ne gari mu muka zauna nan da lafiya Allah kuma ya sa lafiya sakani mu amma muka zauna da kashe kashe da ba Allah ya duba ko masu so kashe juna ne masu so da ji sai dai so don Allah don Allah ne ai ha don Allah don Allah ne kashe kashe juna ya ke ya ke ga bai ka alheri sai sa security service muna ba da hakuri duk da barin da za ku yi zaman lafiya ya kasance gari mu gana Allah ya tabbata ku haka wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi